Melbourne International Comedy Festival back this year. My buddy Tommy Little is having a chat with us. But Tommy, I was such a goody goody at school. I can't say the name of your show. What do you mean? I can't say it. It's a naughty word. Well, you can you can say it. It's just dickhead. Yeah, well, I mm, I can't say, it, but you it can say mean it. You're not going to beep it though, are you? No, no, definitely not. Because if you beep it, people think I say. Head. No, oh, now I have to beep that. So thank you very much. <laughs> but we'll keep it. We'll keep up. The, the, the dickhead is fine. Okay. Um, why did you choose such a difficult name for everyone? To why say? is it difficult? It's not. It's just dickhead. Well, all right. Why did you choose that name? I think it's funny. It was originally going to be called Diary of a Dumb. But we thought that was too much. <laughs> That's the second one. That's the second beep you've got to do now. We will find a creative way to beep you out, Tommy. Tell us a bit about the show. What's what's it about? It's just funny. If the title dickhead kind of makes you chuckle, come along. Is it like observational humour? Like what sort of humour is it's it? It's me stuffing up and reporting back. So if you're stressed about anything, it's a chance for you to forget all that and come laugh with me, at me for an hour. I don't really mind. Just turn up. Um, do you go and check out other comedians during this time? No. Who? Would you not go and see? No, I go and see a lot of comedians. Uh, it's my favourite time of year. I go see a lot of friends doing shows. Uh, Dave Thornton, uh, yep. apart from being very handsy, and you know, can't trust him around <laughs> kids, he is a great comedian. Yeah. And so I always go see his show and, you know, yeah. Do you really mix it up each night? Because obviously you've got the, the bones of your show together mm. or the skeleton of your show. Do, do you mix it up much each night? Like if someone came to two nights, would they see something different? Yeah, they'd see different stuff. Because I do a lot of stuff with the crowd. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go. he's got a fan just around the corner as well. Well <laughs> done, you just keep them close by, Tommy. Is that the plan? No, he actually said it in another language. Oh. Get out of here. We're going to stab you. OK, well, then we'll try and keep this as quick as we can. Okay. Um, what else is going on with you? How are your gangster mugs going? Gangster mugs are going off the chain. The mug empire is growing. I just made a new mug that says on the front of it... Uh, don't make me beep another word. You don't have to. Uh, it's a mug for all the mocker lovers out there. It just says, you mocker me horny. Oh, OK, that's all right. I'm OK with that. Do mockers make you horny? Yeah, everything makes me horny. <laughs> yeah, OK. I'm fine. on a semi right now. <laughs> oh, OK. So tell me about <laughs> your inventions. Uh, I've got heaps. I've got heaps. Yeah. Every medium I get employed in, I just try and push inventions on them. Yeah. So we had a TV show and I invented shongs, which are thongs that then, when you want to get into a pub uh, and you've been drinking, they have covers, so they turn into shoes. Oh, shoes, smart. thongs, shongs. Um, and then from my radio show, I invented uh, morse, which yep. is mustard and sauce. Perfect. And the wonderful folks at Master Foods made that. Legends. Brilliant. Uh, and now I'm trying to push a few things. I've got, it's called the, the beer belly or the six pack, which is a fake belly which holds six beers so you can sneak it into sporting events. Amazing. Smart. Uh, so that's in the process of getting made at the moment. <laughs> and then I had a new one. I want to think of one for you. Ah, uh, yes. I don't think it's good. Oh, no. <laughs> but this I is it. I want a good one. Well, this is another one that, uh, do you wear thongs often? All, uh, all the time. The only time I wear heels is like when I'm shooting. Great. Right now. So you would know, the, what's the biggest problem of wearing thongs when it's wet? Uh, slippery? No. Oh, your feet get wet? No. Oh, um, my feet don't look beautiful when they're wet? Do you never get that flick up the back of your legs oh, yeah. of the dirty water that comes up and then stains up all the back of whatever yeah. shorts you're wearing? Yeah. So, these things are going to be called, at the moment, they're thong guards. And it's basically a bit of rubber at the back of your thong that kind of cur curves over, like those things on the back of bikes to stop the mud flying up. Oh, like and a so flap. You can, yeah, like a flap. So you can okay. wear them in, in wet weather, no mud up the back of your legs. I like it. And I was thinking we could get Cisco on, vo on board okay. and it could be thong to thong, thong guard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Well, you don't need Cisco on board. You could just sing it yourself. No, no, we need Cisco you on board. You love your to be thongs. Honest, <laughs> Cisco has not had a hit in a while. I think he'll be happy for the attention and money. But it's just kind of a repeat of something they've already done. Eh. Let me see that thong. I just, I guard. don't. Do you really think that thong was that thong, or was it that thong? I can, we can bring out guards for that. Oh well, yeah, do you need a guard for that? Depends what you're doing. <laughs> All right, oh, I'm definitely not going to catch up with you over a mochaccino. That I know for sure. All right, doing a quick fast five for mm. um, what's on Tommy Little's list. First up, where's the greatest bar in Melbourne? Uh, the Standard in Fitzroy. It's the best pub in Melbourne. Right. Yeah. What do you have there? What do you mean? What do you drink? Beer. Okay. I don't know, maybe you're a gin and tonic guy. I'm not going to the greatest pub in Melbourne <laughs> and saying, hey, can I just have a vodka lime and soda? Oh my God, two seconds on the lips, two inches on the hips. 
I swear you should just say that though. You did it so well as if you normally do. Uh, what about best burger in Melbourne? Where Ooh, do we get one of those? Easies. Oh, easies. Great. I thought you were saying it's easy, but you're nah, saying easies. Easies. Yeah, yeah. I actually good. haven't been there yet. I know. It's very much on my list. So I've heard 8-Bit is amazing as well, but I haven't been yeah, there. Yeah, I haven't been there either. Mm. Great. We'll head okay. out there. Um, what about your secret place in Melbourne? It is called my perineum, and it's just between my testicles and my hanus. This is my I have secret no idea place. If that was a real place, or if that's you just being rude. Let's go with it. Okay. Um, where would we find Tommy Little on a Sunday? Hungover and hungover or drinking. Okay, so where would you be doing those things? Uh, in bed <laughs> oh, or in bed. Okay. at the pub. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes a. Yeah. Is yeah. That have, you ever, you... have you ever passed out? No, that's a it, that's a really depressing question. No, I no. The answer okay. I'm going to give you is no. That's never happened. Okay. And where would you take a babe on a date? Mmm. I don't. I'm not really one for the dating scene. Okay. Well, that's a shame. But if I was, it to, sounds like you you need to go on a date. Where Where do you want to go? <laughs> well, to the burger place. Burgers on a first date. Can we know? Yeah, we definitely can. Okay. I just didn't expect it from you. Why? I love burgers. Okay, great. Yeah, no, I'm in. I'm maybe not in the white top though. See, I do that's, make a mess. That's exactly no, what I'll I just expected. wear a black top instead. I'll wear a black top <sighs> instead. And then if I make a mess, you can just have a giggle. Sure. Awesome. Well, make sure you check out his show, Tommy Little Show, Dickhead. There you go, I said it for you. Thank you. Um, on the whole comedy festival. Yeah. Awesome. Go check it out.